If you have an older iPhone, there's a good chance that your iPhone's battery percentage is not accurate. A lot of times when that happens, your battery will drop suddenly. So it may go from 20% to zero or 40% to 20%. And the reason for that is the built-in battery on your iPhone, the lithium ion battery, has a shelf life. So as you use it more and more, it loses its max health. So you have to do something in order for it to have a good or accurate readout on the battery percentage. That's called recalibrating your iPhone's battery, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. If you open up the settings app on your iPhone, you could find this section called battery and jump into this page, and you wanna to go to this page called battery health. Here is going to show you the max capacity of your iPhone's battery, right? Depending on your iPhone's age, this will most likely not be 100%. I have a newer iPhone here, so it's still at 100%. And I'm gonna show you here on a little bit of an older iPhone what that same page looks like. So as you see here, this one could only charge up to 91%. It doesn't have 100% health anymore. So in this case, I may want to recalibrate this to make sure this has a right readout here. So every time I actually look at the battery percentage, this says 97%, but again, it might not be accurate. It might actually be lower here. So let me show you how to recalibrate that iPhone battery percentage. If your iPhone is relatively new, like an iPhone 11, 12, or 13, all you have to do is just go to this page here, the battery health page, and make sure from this page, you plug in your iPhone to charge. Because on newer iPhones, they actually really did everything they could to make sure this just happens automatically. So you may get a pop-up message right on top here that says, that is recalibrating your iPhone's battery. And it's going to actually try to fix the percentage if it's showing an inaccurate percentage. Now, if you don't see that, or if you don't even have that page that I'm showing you and your iPhone is older, let me show you the other option you have. So this one is gonna take three different steps. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug my iPhone. The first thing you need to do with this step is you actually need to let your iPhone die. Now, this is typically not good for your iPhone's battery. So this is not something we're gonna do more than once, but if this is showing the wrong percentage or if you're getting sudden drops, you do have to recalibrate using this method. So step one is just let your iPhone die. So you will go through, use it the whole day and don't charge it. Let it go all the way to zero and shut down. Okay, that's step one. Again, not good for your overall health of your iPhone battery, but it is the way to fix this problem. Now, once your iPhone is completely dead, what I want you to do for step two is plug it into an authentic Apple charger and let it come back to life, okay? So that's gonna take a couple of seconds here. It's gonna come back to life. But I wanna charge this without the screen being on. I wanna turn this off, so I recommend you do this overnight to get a full charge out of your iPhone, okay? So I'm gonna press volume up, volume down, and I'm gonna hold power right here on the side and I'm gonna slide to power off. Now the phone is off, right? But I'm gonna let it fully charge. So I'm gonna do this overnight to make sure it goes all the way back to 100%. That's step two. Now the next day, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the iPhone back on. So I'm holding the power button to bring it back on here. And it's at 100%. So now I need to do a full reset of the iPhone. So again, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna unlock the phone for a second here. I'm gonna press volume up, volume down, and I'm gonna press and hold the power button, but this time I'm gonna to continue to press it to get a full restart. So I'm gonna keep holding, and there we go. That's what I wanted to see. I didn't wanna to have to press slide over. This is going to do a hard reset. Now finally, I just have to turn it back on again. I'm gonna hold the power button here on the side, let the Apple logo show up, and that should recalibrate the readouts on your percentage here. Now it's not gonna change your max capacity, okay? That is going to remain the same because this iPhone actually is never going to get back to 100%. This battery has drained over the last couple of years. But that's not what we were trying to fix. We were trying to fix this readout so we don't get those sudden drops. Those sudden drops really only happen because this is not giving you an accurate readout. That's why it goes from 40 to 20 or 20 to zero. It's just not showing you the numbers in between but this should fix your problem if you have an older iPhone. Again, on newer iPhones, this should just happen when you plug this in and it should give you a readout here that is fixing and calibrating your battery.
And remember, draining your battery to zero and letting it die and charging it the way I just showed you is not a recommended way to keep your battery life at a maximum. It's actually not good for your phone. It's just to fix this very specific problem in the case that I'm showing you if the other option wasn't available. So I hope you found this useful and I'll catch you next time.